This is why we are with Cold War. This will look a little crappy because due to the DRM, I uh, literally can only run this game in this resolution. Thanks, DRM. Uh, so here we are. This thing has Star Force. So it was a pain in the ass just to get it to this point. Old version of Star Force is not compatible with Windows 7. I'm running Windows 7. So if you want to run this on Windows 7, you need a crack. Now that that's over with, this game was made by Midware. They are the same people who made uh, one of the Painkiller games and then Dream Killer, I want to say, was another thing they made. Uh, I'm not positive about anything I say. Everything has a potential to be entirely incorrect. But this is one thing I know is not. This is something neat. There's these modes you can choose. Story mode, which is just doing it normally. Time run, which is like speed running it. Pacifist is no killing. And ghost is no alarms or little alarms. So I think that's just like a cool feature, you know? You gotta have features in your game. So you pick whatever mode you want, and then you pick a difficulty. I'll pick medium as always. And I'll let this story roll. Sergei has never steered me wrong, but there's a first time for everything. If his sources are off the mark, I could be flying halfway around the world and have nothing to show for it but a case of cheap vodka that tastes like lighter fluid and cigarettes that smell like old varnish. Kind of hard to believe. The peacenik perestroika happy president of the USSR meeting covertly with the CIA. In Moscow's mausoleum, no less. What the hell is that about? If it's true, it could make an interesting story. Well, story or no story, I hope at the very least this isn't as dangerous as that assignment in Berlin. If Eastern Europe is that tough, I hate to think of the kind of trouble I could run into in the Soviet Union. As a note, you are a reporter. If it's not obvious. Comrade Barinsky, I'm afraid I have bad news to report. What happened? It's about Sonia Yakovleva. She's working for us at the... I know who she is. Get on with it. Yes, of course. Well, comrade, our people have found that she has arranged a meeting with Krushkov, head of the presidential guards. A secret meeting. And it was rumored that the president himself may attend. The president? Only Grushkov could have arranged for the president to attend. You know how persistent he can be. <sighs> I do. Perhaps we should delay the operation, or maybe cancel it altogether. Yakovleva must suspect something. She could divulge everything to the President and Grushkov. The operation will take place as scheduled, Ivan. This is an unexpected eventuality, but one that simply requires a bit of improvisation. We know about the meeting, but they do not realize that their secret rendezvous has been discovered. That is to our advantage. You mean to eliminate them? Yes, but in a way that makes it look as if it is Grushkov and Yakovleva who have been planning some nefarious scheme. The president must believe that they are traitors. And in the end, he must have complete faith in the KGB. Perhaps we could frame them. Make the president believe that Grushkov and Yakovleva called a meeting to lead him into a trap. An assassination attempt, perhaps? It will be rather difficult to make anyone believe that. Yes, they are not typical assassins. A CIA assassin would come in handy here. CIA assassin? You may be onto something, Ivan. If the CIA were implicated in this matter, it would be a shock to the president and cause irreparable damage to Soviet-US relations. But we'll have a hard time to get a CIA assassin to attend that meeting. Really? And how about that American journalist bastard who stuck his nose in our Berlin operation? Matthew Carter, the reporter? 
But he doesn't work for the CIA. Says who? Now listen carefully. So they are talking about you. They want to frame you as a CIA guy. How would they do that? You know, you're just a reporter. Here's your passport, Mr. Carter. Enjoy your stay in Moscow. So something was up with his stuff, it looks like, but you can't really tell what exactly happens. It's just like something may be up with that. It's hard to know. This is a cheerful place. Makes Frankenstein's castle look like Disneyland. Sergei said this meeting is supposed to take place in front of Lenin's casket, right in the middle of this mausoleum. So you are Use a stealthy the game. S, A, and D keys and the mouse for basic movement. There's that basic movement. Use the you can run. When you can interact with an object, the action menu will appear on the top right corner of the screen. Enter the action menu by pressing and holding the right mouse button. All right, so the, the mouse to cycle through the menu. This is the action the right menu. It stops the words when I say when I click it, but you have two options here. You see, you got open and back to game. So open. To activate the chosen option. Just like that. Just like that. That easy. Take out the guard without alerting him. All right, this you is the stealthy part. To surprise him from behind. So here's the some stealth. Meter. In the bottom right corner of the screen. All right, so we're gonna just sneak up on this motherfucker. You can crouch down. You don't need to crouch too much because he's pointing the opposite it? direction. Hello. You can almost run up to him. So you get up to him. Action menu. Knock out. Boom. One punch. Search the guard's pocket. It's and I get a ton of crap from his body. And then I continue. You found anesthetics, plastic bottles, and a gun. So now you don't have to hear what he's gonna say. I need the main entrance key. Why do you need it? Relax, I just forgot some stuff inside. I need to get it before my shift finishes. Don't forget to give it back to me. I'll be right here. I know, I know. So one thing I kinda wonder the main entrance key. Um I must get it. But is that the same Sergey? So shooting is not an option. Maybe I can load my gun with something non-lethal. Hmm. Plastic bottle, some standard bullets. I should be able to fashion some sort of rubber bullet from this junk. Man, I amaze myself with the things I come up with. That ability has saved my ass so many times I lost track. Alright, so then... F2 to open the assembly menu. And then it doesn't tell you anything more. So, to do this you just hit enter and you're done. Now let's make some rubber bullets using a plastic bottle and regular ammo. So I guess the reason you don't want to kill him is because it is the same Sergey. I really don't know. But if he sees you, he shoots you. So, you know, there's that. That's why I quick saved. Headshot, one shot. Everything's good. So we can go ahead and search his body. And there we go. Then we can move up to this guy. It's a little sneaky. Let's pull out the gun with the rubber uh, bullets. And then quick save just in case it misses. Perfect shot. Alright, so then if you want to continue on. This camera looks funny. It doesn't look like he's actually walking. You cannot open this door. So you gotta find the key. Obviously, it's on a different guy. That guy you just killed wasn't the one it's on. I didn't actually search him, so I might as well, but he does not have the key. So I can't carry any more plastic bottles, so if I go back into the menus here, I can make a couple more plastic bullets, or rubber bullets. Ah. And then I could carry the, uh, the one that was still on him. There we go. Inventory management right there. Professional inventory management, as far as I'm concerned. That's good stuff. So if you run up here, there's the other guy. You can try to... I guess it's probably be good to just wait right here. Quick saves are pretty much instant. There's a small 
millisecond like pause. It's nice and smooth. So he's about close enough to make sure I don't miss. Got him. I don't know how rubber bullets are non-lethal on a head, but you know, whatever. Now let's go inside. Alright, so here we go. Go ahead inside. You guy gets tired eventually too, like he's like, I don't wanna run no more. And then he like he's tired. Open the door. There's some lasers and shit. Pass through this laser fence unnoticed. There must be some way to switch it off. Yes, there is. Pop into here. I should check this guard room. There might be something interesting inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab what's in that tool bag and the tube. I'm gonna grab the whole tube actually. Points by picking up blueprints and other technical documents. Press F2 to open the assembly menu. There's an alarm in clock you can pick up. You may spend tech points in order to design blueprints for new gadgets. Once you've made the blueprint for a new gadget, you may assemble it using collected parts. When you've made at least three blueprints from the current gadget level, the next level is unlocked. Alright, so then that's kind of confusing when you just hear it like that, but it basically is just an unlocking system for like extra things. Something is there. So you gotta be a little stealthy. And oh god, he's over there. I'm disoriented. I thought he was on this side. Ah. Let's try that one more time. What? That was a headshot. Bullshit. There we go. Took a little bit, but I got him eventually. So you run over, grab whatever he has on him. Can't carry a med kit or anesthesi uh, anesthetics, so well. So we go through some doors. That one's locked, so we gotta backtrack. Okay. Wrong way. So I'm not as dis I'm more disoriented than I thought I was, I guess. You can move the bodies around too. Uh, the way you move in the game, though, it usually seems like you're going on a more linear path where that's not necessarily needed, at least in the earlier parts of the game. Maybe in the later parts it's more required, but right now you don't need to worry about the moving the bodies at all. They just, they can just sit there and they're perfectly fine. So we are almost some more things to happen. Almost. It's a while. Alright, it's kind of dark here. There, That's the path I need to go. It's hard to see anything, and my guy is tired. If you let him stand there, you can run again. But if you're just always walking, Great. you'll never Should recuperate your strength everything from here. to run. Finally, somebody's coming. Hello, what's this? That guy is definitely a soldier. And there's the president himself. But who's the girl? There's time to identify the players later. Sergei should be able to help when he looks at these pictures. What the hell? I've always been able to see through a cover-up, but this is ridiculous. No way this is my camera. I'd better not point this at anyone, but I've got to see what it can do. There, that fire extinguisher is just what I need. I'll just get a shot of that and see what happens. What the hell's happening? Oh, shit! Freeze! Hands up! Don't move! I am pleased that you were not injured, Mr. President. Borinsky, what the hell is going on? What is the meaning of this? I'm saving your life, Mr. President. After all, that is my job. You see, we have discovered that Comrade Grushkov and Comrade Yakovleva are working for the CIA. They were planning to assassinate you. You lie! You're insane, Barinsky. How dare you make such an outrageous claim? Outrageous, Grushkov? Why? We have all the proof. You lured the president here and hired an American CIA assassin to kill him. This is madness. What assassin? Now, wait just a goddamn minute. I am no assassin. I was just... Just what, Mr. Carter? What were you doing hiding there? If you know my name, you know what I do for a living. I'm a reporter. I just came here to shoot some pictures. Shooting pictures, eh? And tell me, Mr. Carter, are all American cameras capable of that? 
It's just a camera, for God's sake. I don't know how... Enough. Mr. President, that camera is nothing of the sort. We have seen the plans for it in our intelligence reports. It is an assassin's weapon designed by the CIA. Take him. Fine. If this is some sort of super weapon and I shoot your picture, you'll end up like that fire extinguisher. What's it gonna be, Berinsky? Come now, Mr. Carter. Be sensible. You are surrounded. If you surrender, you might still get out of this alive. Hey, Berinsky. Say cheese. Get him! Fire! This way! Go! So yeah, they're chasing you. That's bad. What the hell is happening? Berinsky was right about this camera, but where the hell did it come from? Somebody obviously wanted to make it look like I wanted to kill the president. But why? And how in the hell did Berinsky know that I'd be here? So you know a lot more than he does. Alright, so press enter to play. I'm not gonna read that because it loads so fast. It's amazing. In, that's for sure. What the hell am I gonna do now? I'm trapped. Now you're in the maze. Camera by pressing seven. Then press damn a security camera. I'll have to avoid that laser beam. Oops. Yeah, you don't want that happening. So if you look at the map, which they give you, you could figure out the way out really fast. Otherwise, you end up running around there for who knows how long. But if you lose the map, you're out of there so fast, it's ridiculous. Like, what's even the point if you have a map? So here is the path out. And there we go. I thought they only had secret passages in the movies. This must be how the president got in. The question is... Where does it go? So here's the camera. You can look through the walls literally and you can see there's an enemy down there. So you gotta watch out for him when you get there. That's that's an awesome feature, you know. It's just it's cool to have. I really like that, you know, just look straight through the walls and you can see where they're at. So we'll save again and get the map out the way. Alright, here we go. Wait for the lasers to dissipate and then we'll cross it. Alright, went so good so far. Search his body. Get some valuables. Pop through here. He can run. Oh, shit, there's two people. There's a person here. Okay, reload. I was not aware that there was a person there. I think last time they were in this area, so I just, I forgot to think about that. Uh, I'm really visible right now. Oh, shit. Ow. See, I don't like wasting bullets. They don't give you a lot. It doesn't feel like good. Ah, they see you so fast. Like, you have no place to really, like, move around in it's you have just this small area and he's so far away trying to hit. I don't think it's going to work. Because I'm playing this at like a fucking 640 by 480 resolution. It's really a tiny screen. There. That was a lot of luck, honestly, but I'll take it. Put the gun away and then we can run. Search his body. Oops, wrong key. Search his body. Pull up the map. I got some ammunition, but I can't carry it all. So what I should do is I should pop into here, make it into rubber. So I can I made a little bit of it into rubber and we search him and we can carry it now. Alright, so if we wait here. It goes off and on. And that one goes on. It's kind of an erratic pattern. I just worry about the bottom and crouch. Alright, so there we go. Go through this door. Hello. Nothing there. There's a guy who says hello in here. We'll say hello back. Alright, can't miss that many bullets. I just 
I can't miss it because I don't think they give you that many. They get like three per kill. If I do that inefficiently, I'm screwed. See, three, three. That's it. So, if I do, if I miss more than three, I screwed up. As far as I'm concerned. All right, so we can search him. First, we're grabbing the container accidentally. Now we can search him. A lot of stuff I can't carry, honestly. You can get the alarm clock. And there's also a folder you can get. A ton of crap. All laying around here. You can grab a lot of stuff. And then use this computer. You can turn laser fences on and off. So now it's off, even though I'm not going back there. It really doesn't matter. And I should have to go up here, and then we'll be out of here, mostly. Stop crouching, damn it. Alright, open the door up. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I'm mistaken, it's not up here. Although you get a nice view. Nice area down there, and you don't even really go there. Well, I guess, is that where you start, maybe? I don't know if it is technically the same spot. It kind of looks slightly different. I don't know. Uh, but the proper direction to go is this. It's down here. One of the people I shot is starting to wake up, so he should better get out of here. Oh, I guess you do walk through it. That's right. I forgot you actually walked through it. Oh, shit. I missed. Alright, so that's a fuck up. I still can't. I gotta switch to make some ammunition. Alright, so I can take his gun ammunition. I, I, I screwed up a bit there. I got shot, but I guess it's alright. We'll just run to the exit and get out of here. Oh, shit. There's another guy. I don't remember you. God, how did I miss his head three times in a row? That's terrible. I mean, if you wanted to, you could play this totally like a stealth game, though. You go. I mean, I'm playing it more of a shooting stealth game, but you could play it total stealth. You just gotta really be careful. You should be able to walk right in front of this. Oh, God, the lightning. Yeah, the fucking lightning will fuck you up. I guess out here is not a good way to place to really play it like a stealth game exactly. Alright, so there. If I'm running, how visible am I? Very. Ironically enough, I think the one time I'm going to show off the stealth element, it's a part where you really can't stealth by. I mean, we could try running around this side, but I don't think it'll matter much. Oh god, there's another guy there? Or is that the same guy? That's a different guy. There's two guys. Shit. I didn't go this way the other time, so I didn't know there was a guy there. Alright, so, there's gonna be some lightning soon. Alright, then we'll try to stealth by him. Maybe I found something. He sees me. Yep, he saw me. Yeah, he saw, he's, I saved right as he sees you, so that's a great save spot. Wow, that's, yeah, I, I fucked up. So yeah, let's just shoot him, because stealthing here is a pain in the ass because of the lightning. Right, so we can uh, make some more bullets, maybe? Here we go. And then we can get out of here, finally. This looks like the way out. We bust it finally at the same time. Damn, those guys don't quit. But Russian brawn has never been a match for good old American ingenuity and instinct. Plus, I'm in pretty good shape. It takes more than a couple Russian spetsnaz to run me down. Beep beep. Crash. Bullseye. Ivan. 
throw the American spy in the trunk. Yes, comrade. Make yourself comfortable, Mr. Carter. Relax. We won't start beating a confession out of you until we get to Lil Bianca. Enjoy the ride. Assassin is awake at last. I must say I'm a bit disappointed. Your agents during the Cold War were far more effective. What the hell are you talking about? You're a CIA agent. Uh, how you say, hitman. But fortunately not a very good one. Really? Well, if I'm CIA, I guess that makes you my partner. My sources told me that the President planned to meet some CIA operatives in the mausoleum. I guess that makes you CIA, too. I am the commander of the Presidential Guard. I wouldn't hesitate to lay down my life for the President. I protect him day and night from people like you. Yeah, well, sorry to disappoint you. I'm nothing but a reporter who is in the wrong place at the wrong time. Something is not right here. So, comrade, how does Russian prison work these days? Am I entitled to a lawyer and a phone call before I get my one-way ticket to Siberia? Or is it just a cigarette, a black scarf over the eyes, and a crack of an AK-47? No phone calls and lawyers here. They want us to confess to colluding with the CIA and organizing an assassination of the President. By the time they finish with us, we will sign any confession they put in our hands. They have already had one go-round with me. I will last a while. You, not so long. Wait just a damn minute. I'm an American citizen. I'll contact my embassy and they'll... Perhaps I did not make our situation clear. This is the KGB. It doesn't matter who you are or where you are from. Here... Hey, keep your mouth shut. No talking. Sukisino. What did you say? Oh hell. Catch! I've got a bad feeling about this. And look at this, you're gonna get out of here. But I'm not gonna get out of here. Grab the key and unlock ourselves. Because this is the end of the video. Oh, what the hell? Ah! He just died. Uh, until next time, this has been YBR. See ya.